Hey everybody, it's Tracy from Tracy's Art and Craft. Um, today we are doing our collage Tuesdays again. So I just thought I'd give you a little look at the book so far. That's coming along nicely. So I've bound in all the pages that we decided to have. And I've left the tails long for now. I'm not sure if I'm going to put dangles on them or if we are going to keep them short. So I'm not sure about that. The inside is looking really nice. <coughs> I've made it um, quite grungy and I've sewn most of the pages. Oh, and we've got little paper clips here and there. They will stay in better once they're holding something in, but because the pages are quite thin, it's just slipping off. So we've got lovely bits of sewing here and there. Um, I've sewn in some antique, or oh, vintage, sorry, vintage. Um, this is like a doily type thing, like a coaster type thing or a heat resistant plate but it looks really cute on there and it will give you somewhere to tuck things in or you know it could be like a little flip whatever we'll probably work on it a bit more as time goes on so it's not nowhere near completed yet it's just um you know just i've gotten the original pages that i wanted sewn sewn through and then I'll put the pages together so this is all um, coffee dyed um, this is like an old neck curtain and I coffee dyed it so yeah it's looking lovely there's a little pocket there so I thought I'd have you know bring it through show you what how it's looking that's my favorite page so far I'll probably leave that just as it is maybe even put a little um a little decoration on or something but I don't really like the way that's looking so far so yeah that is all looking absolutely lovely and it's already getting really chunky this one's gonna be about that fat by the time we finish it's gonna be a really chunky one I really want to make it grungy um, and a little bit eclectic I've also put on the cover some dots of some splatters of gold paint so that's looking quite nice as well so today we're going to be collaging um, I have been so so very busy and still am really busy so the collaging is going to be nice just to forget about everything so yeah, let's just slap some things down and just have some time to ourselves. I've brought in loads of different little bits and pieces and my desk is an absolute mess from doing some artwork. So please do mind the mess. But you know, creativity can't happen in you know spotlessness. You have to make a little bit of mess sometimes. And as long as it's working for you. This is not the easiest stuff to glue on, but I didn't want to glue on the page and even not get glue under parts of it, so. But the good thing is, because it's so thin, it's um, really easy to glue. As in, you don't need a lot of glue, it, it will definitely stick. Um, I've brought over loads of different bits and pieces that I haven't been using. I've got these um, vintage looking um, postcards and things. I might use some of that one.
Yes, yeah, so I, I missed putting up a video yesterday, I'm afraid. Um, I did have one to put up, I still do have it. Um, but I had a bit of a family emergency, so I had to pop out and I was out all day dealing with it. And unfortunately, I've completely forgot in at night time to put one up. So it didn't go up, I'm afraid, yesterday's one. I do have to try to get myself into some sort of routine. Um, but I really couldn't help yesterday so it's just one of them things these things happen and then you have to just deal with them and you know I don't have anyone like my husband or anyone that can um, really do all the video editing and stuff for me um, I have my son but he was busy helping me with the children and things so So yesterday was a very hectic day and today's going to be just as hectic um, but it is nice just to sit down for a minute and give myself time just to sit here and be by myself for a bit doing my own thing. Forsyth Saga. Did anyone ever watch that, that program, The Forsyth Saga? Um, I used to love it, absolutely love it. They did quite a few series of it and I, I was looking for it like on DVD or something and yeah I haven't been able to find that anywhere. It's as if nobody knew what it was, I don't know. I talked to people about it and they're like, what? I remember it. <laughs> I know it's out there, I know it was real. <laughs> I want to pop a few of these on. So these are in my um, paper packs as well, these little um, leaflets. They come with books, it used to be a book subscription that you could do. And um, yeah, they're very old, very vintage, you can feel it, it always feels fabric-y, the things I'm popping on here. So, I've got some more book page as well. Oh, that one. No, you're not going to rip back in, fair enough. There we go. So all I'm doing right now is I'm just um, laying down the background. I'm just getting that down. So the background, you, you don't want that to be too um, pictured because you want too many pictures and things in the background pieces. So lots of um, plain or writing pieces, you know, like book page and things. I also have here some um, packing paper that I've screwed up a while ago. And so that's got a bit of a strange feel to it too. So I do let my things um, go over the edge of the page as well and 
I find that it, when that comes time to sort of cutting it down, everything just looks a bit better. So it doesn't bother me if they do go over the page a little. Sorry, that bit's not glued down. You probably can't see. Probably not too hot. Maybe this bit. This paper's just sucking up the glue, that's a problem. Thirsty paper. There we go. Right, what else should we cut on? Should we do a little bit more of this one? Maybe just a little bit more. I'm going to have to actually glue it onto here. Some more of that light in the stand there. So I haven't got a clue what this is going to be turned into yet. Um, I just thought I'd do some grungy stuff and then I know it will go into the journal. But I'm honestly not sure what it's going to be turned into just yet. these scrap strips here be perfect for the So sorry if I'm quite quiet today. You know, I really am taking this opportunity just to relax, to be honest. Because it's been just so, so busy. And it's nice, isn't it, just to stop and relax for a little while. We're getting somewhere now, aren't we? <clears throat> what shall I use next? That's the question. I need something for here and something for the top here. I 
I use a bit more of this for this part. Not this one. Where's the ripped one? Maybe a little bit more for there. Where's the ripped one? Yeah, there's that bit down. There. So we've gotten to that point. I wanted to add on some little bits of doily here and there. So I'm just going to tear this doily. Just put some glue down and stick it on. There we are. Now, I am going to get my gesso and I'm just going to add a few bits of gesso about and see if I can find one of my stiffer brushes. It isn't dirty, I've got a clean. So you want the brush to be quite dry. So always tap it off. my 
a little dryer out now and just give that gesso a little bit of a dry so sorry about the noise for a second There we go and then I'm just going to come in with my ink pad here and just grunge it up a little For the pictures, I'm just going to see what the time is on the, oh yeah, we've got time, we've got time, we're good. So I've brought over a load of pictures and things, um, definitely want the clock on here. Now, which way do I want this? Yes, I do want this this way. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be cutting this into half. And then I'm going to be folding it so it's like a folded, um, like a folded journal space. So what we need to do is think about where half is and then quarter it. We want things to be on the front sides. So it'll be these two, these two quarters of the page we want things on. I usually use my sponge double for this but. I'm using a brush right now because it's out and I want to get all things out. So for this part I'm going to use my art glitter glue by popping these on so that they don't lift off. Some of these did get a little bit stuck together, so I do have to pull them apart a little bit. Um, else I want in here. I don't want that one on that one up there. Or maybe a stamp actually. What do I have? I've got a big pot of stamps here. I'm actually getting quite low. Usually this pot is crammed full but running out a little bit. 
I like that one because that one feels like it'll take up ink very well. And it will. It's lovely. So obviously when you're collaging you can just collage for the sake of it or you can think about what you want the pieces to turn into at the end um, a lot of the time I don't actually know what I want them to turn into I just make a collage board and then I'll use that specific collage board if I think it's going to work so a lot of the time I don't actually know what I want the pieces to turn into I'm loving the clocks in this one, in this Grungy journal. I don't know why, but I'm using a lot of clocks. And trying to put them upside down as well. <laughs> Hmm. Cannot decide. I'm in an indecisive mood, I think. These are bows from Shabby Dabby Doodah. I've printed them on various papers because I was testing out different papers. So this one's vellum. Um, here we have some cards. And this is like um, a decoupage photo type paper. Um, so yeah, I've got them on various different papers there. But I think I do really, really love the vellum ones. I do use them the most, so. There we go. And there we are. So I think I'm going to stop there because if I fold them, it's going to look really nice as a book page. So yeah, I think I'm going to stop there. And I think I'll leave you there because I am so busy and I've got so much to do. So I do have to go and get on. Um, so it's only a short one, I'm afraid. But some short time by ourselves is better than no time, isn't it? So, so yeah, I'm just going to take this short time. <laughs> and run with it so i hope you like it so far and i hope you like the journal so far um yeah and i will see you next week where we will do another one and hopefully have a bit more time to ourselves <laughs> so bye for now bye